Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, getting back to Mega Man Battle Network 5 Team Colonel. So as we last left off, it was time to start the next Liberation mission. So, let's go for it. Indeed, we do want to start the Liberation mission, Colonel. So, let's go. What happened to our other teammate? He'll be here any minute. Sorry to keep you waiting. I had a previous commitment. Shadow Man? What were you doing? Everyone, this is Tomahawk Man. He's in charge of offense. It's party time. Watch out for my Tomahawk swing, baby. Hmm. He's full of energy and talented. Colonel, what do you think about the enemy this time? He's strong. No question about that. I see. I wonder who's behind this. Ready to enter a world of pain, are we? Hehe. <laughs> that must be Mega Man. Now I get it. We must delete him or we can't liberate the area. Keep yourself calm. We must keep the situation like this. Yes, sir. One more thing. Look over there. Too many dark panels. Too few item panels. I'm worried about our order points. We've got to liberate as wide of an area at once to preserve our order points. I can definitely handle that. I can swing my tomahawk for a six square wide attack. However, it will also destroy any items. But the barrier key should be sturdy. I think it'll be okay. Hear that, Len? Yeah. Don't worry. We'll try to recover Mega Man without deleting him. But you've got to prepare for the worst. Okay, let's do it, Colonel. Okay, complete the liberation within ten phases. Good luck. So, yeah, this particular liberation mission... There's a lot of dark panels to eat through. Also, two barrier keys that we need. Even more dark panels, a whole bunch of dark panels, a new guardian type, and then dark mega up here. Thing is, for all of the dark panels you have to eat through, for the most part this liberation mission is fairly straightforward. And you also have a pretty good target phase time to beat, so you do have some wiggle room here. The trick is indeed order point management. I got lucky in practice, and I actually got order points from this bonus panel. Doing so basically made it so I didn't really have to worry too much about order points from then on, and I actually cleared this in five turns. I don't know that I'm going to be that lucky again. So the other thing that was mentioned is Tomahawk Man's power. What he means by a six square wide area is essentially think Colonel Screen Divide, but two layers deep. So, for example, if I struck from here, these six panels, this area here, would all be cleared. The caveat to this is any item panels caught in that range are destroyed. You do not get the items inside them, unless it's the barrier keys. Those are safe, but order points, battle chips, hearts, zenny, those all get destroyed. So, kind of be mindful of where you're going if you want to actually get stuff like that. Alright. So, with that, let's begin. We're just going to go ahead and use Tomahawk Swing right away. Because I kind of want what's in that item panel we're going to go from here. Want to chop around this area? Yes. Okay, Tomahawk Man, we're using order points. Timber! Tomahawk Swing! This also gives us a chance to talk about just what Tomahawk Man can do. So, he does need to worry about Heat Element attacks since he's Wood Element. His special attack is Tomahawk Swing, and it is basically his Order Point technique. Slices two square, y uh, two square side, three square vertical. Basically, Life Sword range. Does 100 damage, Wood Element, so it is fairly powerful. His Charge Shot is basically his tomahawk throw, and it does curve around to hit the nearest enemy. Kind of 
think of it as a slower magnet missile, but one that can't be destroyed. I think that's the easiest way to describe it, really. Well, yes and no. There are distinctions to be made. Unlike magnet missile, the tomahawk pierces, and after curving, it makes a return trip. So you can hit multiple targets with it. Also, if you throw it down the center row, it won't curve to other targets. It'll just go straight out and return. I don't know why that description made sense to me at the time, but there's definitely more to it than that. Also worth noting, if he takes damage, being wood element, Tomahawk Man will heal while standing on grass panels. Right then, back to work past me. Alright. So unfortunately, no elect chips in the opening selection. We'll work with what we have, and get rid of one of you guys immediately. Oh, you hid. Not quite one turn liberation, but we can work with it. Okay, so we have a foothold. So from here, I want to eat in to get that dark hole out of the way as quickly as we can, because you might have noticed there are five of those that we have to deal with this time. So we're going to go ahead and use Screen Divide. Let's see. Not the best opening selection, but again, we can work with it. Actually, let's just go ahead and get rid of one of the Bomb Boys immediately. Oh, there are bombs in the way, actually. This is going to be tricky. Okay, we made it. That was a near thing. And so we get a battle chip. Aqua World 2. You might have noticed we haven't really been running across any version 2 viruses. We've been hitting some of the offshoots, like the stronger version of Metar 1, but we haven't met Metar 2. Yeah, Battle Network 5 kind of does a weird thing. Sort of as annoying as the Battle Network 4 thing, but I don't know, in some ways not as bad. But yeah, we're not going to see level 2 viruses until post-game. So finding the occasional level 2 chip like this, it can be pretty nice. Okay, let's get rid of the dark hole, shall we? Right here. Okay, so, not really the best hand for dealing with this group, but I do see a possibility, though it will require a little bit of cooperation from the big brute. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, the Guardian's already gone. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Now, where are you going? That works. So, one Dark Hole down. One Guardian down. You'll love to see it. So, technically, I could have gone ahead with Shadow Man and come up here, started going through all this mess. However, for the moment, I feel like it's better to stay kind of consolidated. Mainly, I want to try and get rid of these two dark holes as quickly as I can. So let's continue on our way. Let's see here.
Please tell me that hits everyone. Yes. Excellent. That is perfect. Who wants the first taste of my Mega Buster? You're gonna have to wait for a bit. We have to be a lot closer for you to do that. The dogs are encroaching. As is the bird. All right. Just kind of want to get everyone up here for the moment. I feel like we're going to get the most clearance by taking out both of these guardians. I'm going to start with Nightman. And first we'll see if we get lucky here. Come on, order points. I mean, one turn invincibility isn't bad. Not what I really wanted, but not bad. Alright. So, let's start by going ahead and taking you out. I don't even know why I'm bothering with the invisibility. I don't need it for a change. Force of habit. It makes me feel comfortable. Okay. So now we have access to at least one of the dark holes. We also do need to get rid of this guy. Who to go after him with, though? Eh, let's go with Colonel. Again, don't know why I'm bothering with that. There was a green switch here the whole time. Okay, so from here, time to take out the dark holes. That'll give us a good bit of real estate to work with. At this point, I'm just using it to go ahead and get it out of the folder. A bit of a waste, that. I panicked. I freely admit it. Now why'd you target that? Let's go ahead and get rid of you. Yeah, Gyro Man has been coming in clutch. That gets rid of all that. And now for this one. Now this one, if that invincibility wears off, we are going to have to be careful because, uh, yeah, the Guardian uses fire attacks. We don't like those. Let's see. Using this, I could at the very least go ahead and get rid of both the Metars right away. Or not. The Guardian got in the way. Okay, it is worth noting that the attack from Cloud Man is not piercing. that, we're good. A 
little less to worry about. Where are you going after? Yeah, Hawk Attack! And Nightman for the block. Okay. So with that, we are going to need to go up here now. Both the barrier keys are in here. However, I really want those order points. Nightman is probably the safest to try and do anything with here, because being close to the bird here, yeah, he won't get hit by it. If I can do a one-turn liberation, that would be perfect. We're gonna go for it. It's a gamble, but hopefully it pays off. We got Django. I would say it paid off. Alright guys, get in line. There we go. So with that, we get order points. At least a couple. It gives us some options. But now, we need to start figuring out what we're gonna do here. Which honestly, probably getting rid of the dark hole first is the best option. The question is how best to get in here. If we can get another one turn liberation, though this is gonna be a risky one. But hey, Shadow Man is actually pretty good. Doing it. Honestly, not the worst selection. Until Shadow Man does that. But hey, it's still a bunch of weak viruses, so we're good. That worked out better than I hoped. Alright. Okay, so we have these two to work with. Yeah, let's go ahead and use Colonel for this. Go ahead and do a good bit of damage there. Charge up screen divide. And there we go. And we get... A heart! Not super useful at the moment, but hey. So, time to get rid of another dark hole. But again, we do have to be a little careful here because of the heat weakness. Yeah, it is worth noting, if you fire the tomahawk down the center row, it doesn't seem to curve. So I guess that is one difference between it and Magnet Missile. But, another dark hole gone. Delightful. Hawk attack. Armor. So now, we need to get the two barrier keys that are over here. Thankfully, we have easy access to both. The first one is here. Easy enough.
Barrier key two. Okay, so the second one was there. But hey, we need both of them anyway. The other one, we'll have to sneak up here with Shadow Man. So, let's get it. Okay, again, not exactly the best opening hand, but at the very least, we just need to take out the viruses this time. It's not a matter of trying to get a one-turn liberation. I honestly just wanted that virus gone. So there we go. And we get Barrier Key 1. So now, the way forward is open. We're almost there. So we have one last dark hole to deal with. Unfortunately, I don't think I have a way with just these two navvies to get to the dark hole and take it out on this turn. Not really any good setup for using Tomahawk Swing, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to hope for another one-turn liberation here. You work with what you got. I could potentially work with this. Actually, that's perfect. Now I just need to wait for you to come over here. You know you want to. So with that, it's time to deal with a new Guardian type. So, let's do this. So with that, meet Bladia. You'd be forgiven for thinking it's basically just an oversized sortie virus. For the most part, you would be correct in that assumption. However, he is a little bit trickier. For example, he can block your attacks, and his own attacks are a lot more devastating. Yeah, he breaks your panels when he slashes, so, uh... Also, don't expect him to get up close and personal. He can attack from a distance. Essentially, if you can get away with him, you want counter hits in this fight. The good news is, if you attack from the side, Bladia can't really see it coming and won't block it. And we got order points. Delicious. Yeah, we're still not close enough for Dark Mega to do anything. So, let's round everyone up. Alright. So at this point, we're going to be strategic. First, we're going to get rid of the Dark Hole. So we do have to worry about a Bladia here. Go ahead and get rid of what we can with Cloud Man. Actually, will this work? Yep, he didn't get to block fast. So with that, all the Dark Holes are gone. As well as all the Guardians that matter because the Tin Hawk can't get up here. 
so the way to Dark Mega is open now. But we're not going to rush for him. First, we're going to use Screen Divide here. The important thing worth noting is I'm still not close enough to where I can trigger his Mega Buster attack. And that's a good thing. where we're going to end our turn. Pass. And... Pass. So yeah, Dark Mega still is not going to do anything. 